Welcome to Life Journey Show. Today's show, we're dealing with the subject of addiction. Now, someone, someone have, have asked the question, why am I still addicted to sex, drugs, and alcohol? And 10 reasons why you are still addicted. 10 reasons why you are still addicted. And the first reason you are still addicted, you, you, glory to God. The first reason why is you don't want to let go of the habit. You don't want to let go of the habit. Now, a lot of people have hold on to the bottle. A lot of people have hold on to the weed. A lot of people have hold on to the sexual promiscuity. A lot of people have hold on to sex. They want, they want to let go of it. Now, the reason why I say hold on to sex because if you are not married and you are having sex, you have addiction, my friend. Glory to God. I know the Bible says it's better, better to marry than to burn. But we have to understand what the scripture means. A glory to God, the Bible, because the Bible is of no profit interpretation. So the number one reason why you still hold on to it because you don't want to let go of the habit. And number two reason, you still don't have to see, you don't want to see the ugly side of your addiction. You don't want to see the ugly side of your addiction. You don't want to see the penalty of people that's uh, glory to God are smoking weed, how it created cancer. Smoking that on people that's on a bottle, you got solutions of the liver. People that having sex, numerous of sex, you are sex addicted. Addiction, you don't want to see that you won't, go, you won't get HIV. HIV or AIDS so you hide so you don't want to see the ugly side of the effect of those that holding on to the addiction now why am I still addicted glory to God and I told you the reason why is you don't want number one you don't want to let go of the habit number two you want to see the ugly side of the effect of you holding on to these bad habits of sex and drugs and alcohol. And number three reason, you don't you don't care about your loved ones, a glory to God, while you are dead and gone. You don't care about your loved one while you are dead and gone. Come on, if you're a mother and you are having sexual promiscuity, if you're a mother, you still got the bottle. If you're a mother, you still smoking weed or crack. Glory to God. You don't care about your loved one. Because if you care about your loved one, you go seek help. And help. Glory to God. So you can see your, your daughter, rather your daughter, going to a glory to God shelter or going to a foster home or going to somebody that's a stranger. Glory to God. So you don't care about your loved one after you are gone. Glory to God. And number four, your doctor lying to you about you. You, glory to God. Amen. Your doctor is lying to you or you haven't been to the doctor. <laughs> glory to God. Your doctor lying to you or you haven't been to the doctor. Come on. That's number four. You know what I mean? You even lie. Even your doctor like you, <laughs> glory to God, or lying to you. Or you haven't been to the doctor. You know what I mean? Why am I still addicted? Hey, glory to God. I'm, and these are the reasons why you are still addicted. Glory to God. And, and the fourth one say, you, you haven't been to the doctor or your doctor is lying to you. Glory to God. And number five, the, the fifth reason is you are still in denial of your addiction or it's just a habit. And you say, I break it. You in denial, or you just say it's a habit, I break it. Come on. It's been 20 years, and you are still addicted. You're still addicted to drugs. You're still addicted to alcohol, and you're still addicted to sex. It's been 20 years now, and you are in denial. You say it's not an addiction. It's just a habit. If it's a habit, you can break it. But if it's addiction, oh, glory to God, it's a fight up your hand. But you can do it, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Amen. And the sixth reason is you are living in fantasy and not reality. You are living in fantasy and not reality. You're saying that you don't have a 
ignore an addiction. You say you don't you don't mess with sex, you don't not in, in, in drugs or alcohol. You just I'm just like the like the boys, like the girls. You are living in fantasy rather than reality. Cause if 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 this was a a a reality, you will face and say that yes, I have addiction. Yes, I'm addicted to sex. Yes, I'm addicted to drug. Yes, I'm addicted to alcohol. But come on now, this is not a fantasy. It is reality. You are addicted to one of these substance. Hey, glory to God. The two are substance and the other one, glory to God, is just a addiction that you have. You just got to have sex with anybody you are addicted. Glory to God. And number seven reason you are addicted, you are still sleeping and need to wake up. <laughs> you are still sleeping and need to wake up. You are still sleeping, my friend, because if you don't think you have an addiction, Hey Amen. You are still sleeping in your bed, got your pillow and snoring. But it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to wake up out there and realize that you have addiction. You are addicted to sex. You are addicted to drugs. And you are addicted to alcohol. Glory to God. And the reason why you are addicted to, to these things is because you have contributed and i'm gonna tell you the reason why you're still you are still addicted number eight is glory to god now now this one don't don't want to know the truth about your addiction now you don't want to know the truth about your addiction <laughs> glory to god you don't want to know the effects that is doing to your body Hey, glory to God. And I know I said it earlier, the ugly side, but you don't want to know the truth of the effect that it will do to your body. Glory to God. The sex, you having different sex partners, my friend, you're going to end up catching AIDS, STD, or HIV. These are the, AIDS is a silent killer in our society. Hey, glory to God. Liquor, glory to God, cirrhosis of the liver. Hey, glory to God. Weed, you have cancer in the throat. My mom died of throat cancer. When she died, she was purple, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Hey, amen, amen, amen. Come on, come, getting close to it. And number nine, you believe there's no hope, so I might as well die. There's hope, my friend. And that's why I am on the subject of the addiction, because there's hope. Jesus Christ is hope. The Bible say, now faith is a something things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but it the elders obtain a good report. There's hope. Once you are alive, see another day, here's hope, my friend. Glory to God. And a lot of people that's in the grave, they wish they'll wake up and realize that Jesus Christ is right there. He said, come unto me, all he that have laid it, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Hey, glory to God. There's, there's hope. Don't die. There's hope. Jesus Christ is hope. And the last one, and it's sad. Glory to God. That's number 10. Hey, glory to God. So, number 9 was, you say there's no hope, so you might as well die. And number 10 one is, number 10th, reason why I'm still addicted to sex, to drugs, and to alcohol is because, number one, Facebook. You still have a Facebook account. <laughs> yes, I know Facebook have changed over the years. Once, Facebook was for, for folks to reunite with their family. Facebook was a, was a college, college situation. Amen. But now, Facebook have gone to people suicidal. Hey, Gloria. Facebook gone to a nudity. Facebook gone to cheating spouse, cheating on their wives, cheating on their husband. And Facebook become a, a nudity, a freak show. Hey, hey, glory to God. And also, the movies. You know that you have addiction. Why are you going to see X-rated movies? You know you are addicted to drugs. Why are you going to see a gangster movie? You know that you are addicted. Why are you listening to those slow jam songs, the R&B songs? Why, my friend? 
because you don't want to let go your addiction. Amen. Facebook, movies, and music. These three things contribute to the addiction. The Facebook is the number one cheating site for people that can cheat on their spouse. Glory to God. And it's a freak show. And that's the reason why I don't have a Facebook. Because a Facebook, people, been, they know I'm married. Hey, glory to God. But they're still trying to holler at me. They're still trying to tell me, what's my name? Uh, or how old are you? And, and, and text me or email me on this private site. You know that I'm married. But they don't care, my friend. Because the devil is behind the Facebook site. And movies. Why are you going to a strip club? Hey, glory to God. Why are you going to the movies and see prerogative movie that rises or raises your flesh, raises your emotion? These things cause you to lust. These things turn you on. And that's the reason why, the 10 reason why you are still addicted to sex, drugs, and alcohol. The number, the number three killers in the world. Hey, glory to God. And sad, my friend, if you turn off those soul jam and put on some gospel music, glory to God, you will, you will knock, oh, glory, it will knock the, 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 the lust out of your life. And you will know that it will search your soul. Because gospel music, glory to God, is for the soul. But R&B raises your flesh. You want to talk about sex. You want to talk about and put it in the, in the hole. Come on now. Amen. But once you listen to these slow songs, these slow songs make your flesh be risen and you want to do it. Hey, glory. You want to take your clothes off and you don't even know the person's name. You want to take your clothes off and don't know the, where the person lived. You want to take your clothes so you don't know you don't care if they're male or female glory to God because these songs are glory to God the devil is behind these songs R&B and slow jam and all those songs the devil is behind those songs so the ten reason is glory to God the Facebook the music glory to God these things contribute to my addiction ten reason why you are still Addicted, and I hope you enjoy this truth sermon of Life Journey Show. Until next time, my friend, contribute, subscribe to my YouTube video, and you'll get a fresh video of Theophilus McPherson. Go to my website, that's RomeInternational.org. That's RomeInternational.org. Until then, God bless you richly. It's my prayer. Peace.